Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I have another box here of Maze of Melania. Definitely still want my chances of pulling that bonfire, so there's really not much else to say. Let's just get started right away. Alright, so last time we did alright. I mean, it wasn't necessarily the worst thing ever, but we unfortunately could not pull the bonfire. So I'm assuming it's going to be a very difficult card to pull and it's not always guaranteed um, so often in any of these. But I guess we'll have to find out what we actually are able to get out of this. So let's begin and hopefully we start things off uh, pretty strong here. So last time we got four ultras, which now I know is uh, what we're expecting in this particular set here. So let's see. Uh, looks like we got a new card here that we didn't pull last time. Earthbound Prisoner Stone Sweeper. Definitely a really interesting card to start off here. Uh, first time, so it seems like just by buying one box, you're not going to get every single card, um, even if it's just a super rare. So yeah, quite interesting to see. But you can get duplicates though. Uh, Flame Swords Realm, that's our second card here. Definitely a really interesting card as well. Let's keep going and let's see what else we can get here. Uh, at this point, I think all the rares we've seen already. So, got here Geo Grasha, we pulled that last time. Let's, let's keep going and seeing what else is there. I mean, in terms of the decks, it's mostly fun decks. I don't necessarily see um, the most broken decks in here. Uh, Alright, so first Ultra, we got Photon Delta Wing, which, I mean, it's okay. It's meant to be a photon support card but it can be used for light decks as well um, so it's not the best pull but it's okay i mean if you can pull multiples of these then you could actually get something going for light decks but let's just see what else we can get here we got our bunbuku again which i mean it's okay if you're playing any pendulum support type of decks but otherwise not too special there. Let's see, what else do we have here? It seems like no new rares. Uh, oh wow, alright, so we got ourselves a Tactics Thrust. We actually got that last time, so I'm pretty happy to see that we got a second one here, which means we got two copies of Thrust. And honestly, I feel like you can just get away with playing two copies of Thrust anyway in any deck that you're playing. So yeah, definitely very nice to pull there, uh, a much deserved reprint, so quite happy about that particular one. Uh, let's see what else, oh we have the new Flame Swordsman card, so this is Ultimate Flame Swordsman, definitely a fantastic card here. Yeah that's going to be quite exciting. Hopefully we have enough cards to put together a deck, but we didn't even get uh, Flame Swordsman himself. So. I uh, haven't fully done research on the deck, but I guess we'll have to find out. Armored Xyz, a new card we got here, but uh, it is just your standard super as well. Let's keep going, let's see what else we can get here. Got Fighting Flame Dragon and Kaitop Terra, which is going to be really nice for dinosaurs. I do feel like there's definitely a lot of uh, decks or archetypes or even just uh, deck types like dinosaurs that are just getting support here. So you'll definitely see a lot in this. Got here Phoenix Gearblade, which is very nice as well. That's our second copy if we were to count from the previous box that we pulled open. Um, what else do we have here? We got... Salamandra, the Flying Flame Dragon. I believe I should have completed my playset now, so it's definitely very nice. So if that card is a crucial card in the deck itself, then that's fantastic. But let's continue on and let's see. We've got here some more reprints and Ashoka Pillar, very interesting card here. Oh, I already see a bit of uh, peeling of the cards, which is definitely bad. But yeah, let's just keep going and let's see what else we can possibly pull here. Still got two Ultras left in here, so going to be quite interesting to see what we can get. We've got Bumbuku, which is okay. Let's keep going. We 
we have in this particular one another Geo Grasha. So it seems like there's a lot of um, Earthbound Immortal stuff in here. And I've been seeing that quite a bit. Got Combat Wheel and Earthbound Prison, which I believe that's also a playset I've completed with that as well. So still going here. Let's see how well we go with this. We have Reinforce and Kite Up Terra. Should definitely have a playset of those now. That's great. What else do we have here? We have. Oh, I see. No, it's Flame Swords Realm. I believe that was the second copy in this particular box. So definitely very nice there. I believe that is also a playset that I should have completed as well. Um, yeah, I guess we'll find out what else we can possibly get. I do wonder if we can get duplicates for Ultras though, because another Thrust would be fantastic. Um, Fighting Flame Sword. All right, so that's our third Ultra for this uh, particular set. Well, this particular box, um, definitely a bit unfortunate. It's not the one that I was looking for. But we still got one more Ultra, so hopefully um, we can pull something good out of that. Otherwise, let's find out. All right, next up we got Arcana Force, The Fiend, of course. I don't remember. I'm going to start from the two bottom ones because I believe that's where the Ultra is we're somewhere around there so I'll try to save it there if it coincides with the other side then I shouldn't pull any ultras over here so we got turbulence one of the ultras the last ultra should be in there somewhere so let's just see what else is in here we got earthbound prison all right and out of these three, I guess we'll find out which one is the one that will have the final Ultra. I think it should be four Ultras per box. So let's see what else we get here. Emergency and got Stone Sweeper, a second copy of that. So I don't know which one it was. I think that one should be the one with the Ultra, but it could be in this one here. So let's just find out. Got over here... Synchro Chase and Flying Flame Dragon. Alright, so last pack, it should be an Ultra. If not, so I'll definitely be very disappointed. But yeah, we should have an Ultra in this one. Let's see, so 100 Eyes Dragon, Sequiltos, uh, Fusion, we have here Yada, uh, Geoglyph, and the final card. Oh no, Line Walker and. I can't kind of force the fiend. Did I miss out on something? I only got three ultras. That does not make sense. Hold on a second. Did I miss something? I, f I have a feeling I missed out on something. All right, so I tried digging through the whole pile. Unfortunately, it seems like we only got three ultras, which I was actually surprised. I was expecting there to be four Ultras per box, but it seems like we could only get three. So, I don't know. I mean, like, the thing is this. Like, the boxes... What you kind of hope is... You're hoping you would obviously make your money back with what you've pulled, right? For me, at least, I feel like Triple Tactics Thrust is probably the second most desired card in this particular set. And... Like... With the box being $120, which is well below MSRP, um, Bonfire alone is normally the card that would uh, obviously pay for the box. I mean, Bonfire is currently going for $180 right now by itself, you know, so it's pretty insane to have like just the playset is going to cost you nearly $600, whereas the second most expensive card, Thrust, which is sitting at around $80 right now. I mean, it's okay. Uh, I believe Delta Wing, I just did a quick check on that as well. That's about a $5 card, so it's not really valuable. 
The Fighting Flame Sword, surprisingly, this is a $20 card, so that's definitely quite interesting there. So, I wouldn't necessarily say that I made my money back. I mean, I didn't even break even on this, but, you know, ultimately, it was for the fun of opening it. Uh, getting Thrust is still, like, a huge deal anyway, so... With that being said, uh, this was pretty much it for the whole box itself. Looks like I'm just going to have to wait until Bonfire actually goes down in price to actually obtain copies of it. But yeah, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Definitely let me know what your ratios are. Do you guys get four ultras per box or do you guys also get three like I did just then? Uh, with that being said though, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'll see you all next time.